So before we start, there's a few things you need to do. There's some materials that you'll need and it's all the same material, some coloured paper. So remember, I can't see you. So it's really important that you follow these really simple steps. Number one, grab a grown up. Number two, clear the room you're going to dance in. Number three, socks off. Number four, a warm up. It's also really good to keep some water to hand in the room you're going to dance in. Hi everyone, uh, welcome back. Uh, so now we're gonna explore task number four, which is the final part of this mini series of video workshops. Um, and we're gonna lay out a pathway again with our pieces of paper, or if you want to, you can spread them across the room and use them as stepping stones, or you can recreate your own pathway. So I want to know, and we're going to explore together, how your pathway can move. So how all the different pieces of paper can move. Can it float? Can any pieces of paper float? Can pieces of paper sway? Can your pieces of your pathway sway? Can you roll it? Can it roll? Can you scrunch it up? And when you scrunch it up, does it make a noise? Can you catch it? Now it's all scrunched up into a ball. Can you catch it and throw it? So how many different ways your pathway can move? How can you move your pathway? Off you go, let's explore together. Float. Can you float your pathway? Float. Can you float and catch? So float and catch. Float and catch. Can you sway your pathway? So can you sway, sway from side to side? You can do this standing up or sitting down. So sway. Maybe you could flap like big owl wings with your pathway. So using the pieces of paper to flap. Maybe you could make those little butterflies you've got red pieces of paper, you could make some red butterfly wings. Can you scrunch your paper up? What noise does it make? Can you make it really small? Can you throw? Hop. Throw it. Can you throw and catch? Throw it up and catch. Can you throw it to your grown up and catch? Enjoy the noise that it makes. Can you balance on a part of your body? Can you balance it on a part of your body? Can it roll? Can you roll it? Roll it around all the other colours. Roll it around the floor. Roll it around the pathway. Can you roll it with your foot? So roll it with your foot or roll it with your hand. Using your fingers, you're going to pull your paper apart and rip. Rip your piece of paper, rip it up. Make it into tiny pieces. Rip. So you've got lots and lots and tiny pieces. Can you make it move by blowing it? Can 
Can you keep it floating in the air? Between you and your grown-up, can you blow, pass it to each other? <gasps> or maybe you could find a big piece of paper. Rip it into tiny pieces and see how it floats, see how it moves. Can you throw it? Again, with these tiny pieces, can you balance it on your body? Can you balance it on your knee, on your leg? And what happens when you move? <gasps> Does it fall off? Does it stick? Can you wear it like feathers? Can you wear it? What happens when you move? Excellent. So using your fingers now, we're gonna collect all the pieces of paper that you've ripped up or screwed up, and we're gonna collect them and bring them into a nice, neat pile in the center of the room. So once you've gathered all your pieces of paper up, you're going to sit down in the middle like you're sitting in a nice, cosy little owl nest. And you can have a little look around your living room and see all the colours and all the different patterns, all the different textures and shapes that are in your room. And you can even use your big owl eyes to have a look around to finish while you're sitting comfortably in your little owl nest. Thank you everyone for joining in and I hope I see you soon. Bye.